Hi everyone, let's go through integral calculus, few questions for your practice. Now there are three different uh, methods, right? Integration by substitution, integration by partial fractions, integration by parts. Now, how do you know when you have to apply what? I'll touch upon at a high level. When you see that the derivative, first thing when a function is given, check if the derivative and the function are together. Either it can be in the numerator or it can be the denominator, right? Just check the function and see if derivative is there. If it is there, then use substitution. Partial fractions when you have multiple terms in denominator, right? And then parts is when you have product of two functions, that is multiplication of two functions are there. And then there is no derivative. That's when you use integration by parts. Here's a list of simple problems. So before understanding the three marker problems, you may want to understand these simple two marker related problems. We'll cover some problems here. Evaluate this particular expression. You'll always have to check if there is derivative and function together. If you notice, if you notice this is the function, derivative of this function is 4x plus 3, right? What is derivative of 2x square? It is 4x. What is derivative of 3x? It's 3. What is derivative of 5? It's 0. So if you notice, the derivative and the function are in the same expression. When you have something like this, you assume that this denominator function is t and uh, 4x plus 3 is the derivative. So you substitute t and dt here. So you get dt by t. Integral of 1 by t is log t. Then substitute t here. 2x square plus 3x plus 5 and then put constant. Here again same case. What is derivative of sin x? Cos x. So denominator is the function which is t. Assume that the denominator function is t and the derivative is the numerator. Don't take power. Only take the function. 1 plus sin x is equal to t. So this is going to become t cube when I substitute and this is going to become dt. Cos x dx is dt. Now take this uh, t to the top. So it will become t to the power minus 3. So apply the integral formula and then you will get this answer. Here this is also the same case. This is the function and you have the derivative. Ignore the power. So t is just the function without the power. Find the derivative of this function. It is 8x minus 2. Here you have 4x minus 1. But in derivative we get 8x minus 2. So you take 2 as common. So you will get 4x minus 1. You bring 2 this side. Why I am bringing d to this side? If I bring 2 this side, it is going to become dt by 2 and I am going to get 4x minus 1 dx. Here I have 4x minus 1 dx, right? I have 4x minus 1 dx. So, instead of 4x minus 1 dx, I will substitute dt by 2 like this. dt by 2 and then instead of this function, I will put t and then have this power 3 by 2. That is all. And then I find the integral using the integral formula. So, here again, you have denominator function as 3 to the power x plus 1. And the derivative is in the numerator. Now this is of the form 3 to the power x is of the form a to the power x. What is derivative of a to the power x? It is a to the power x into log a. So instead of a to the power x, you have 3 to the power x into log a which is 3. So this is there in the numerator. 3x into log 3 is in the numerator. Right? So I substitute t here and dt here like this. And integral of 1 by t is log t. Instead of t, put, put uh, the original expression 3 to the power x plus 1 and you get the answer. Yet another problem, here you have a rational function. So I can split this function, I can take common factor here, x is nothing but root x into root x, right. So I can split x as root x into root x, I can write this as root x into root x and then I can take root x as common, so I get 1 plus root x. Now you can assume that t is 1 plus root x, let us assume this is t. Then if I differentiate, what I will get? I will get 1 by 2 root x. Here I have 1 by root x. But I have 1 by 2 root x here. So what I will do? I will shift 2 to the other side. I will shift 2 to the other side. So it will become 2 dt. 2 dt is 1 by root x dx. So 1 by root x dx, I can put as 2 dt. 2 dt. And 1 plus root x is t. That is all. Yet another problem. Here, again, derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x itself. Same case. So assume that t is e to the power x minus 1. Find the derivative. You will get dt. Substitute 
dt year and t year integral of log x here what do we do there is only one function here how do we solve so this is slightly tricky but remember when you have log x assume that there is one year log x into one you can assume that there is one year right and then you can apply integration by parts use this particular uh, uh, formula first function into integral of second function minus integral of derivative of first function into integral of second function go through my video for uh, understanding more on substitution by parts right it gives lot of examples for more details you can refer the playlist again use the order late use this particular order logarithmic algebraic trigonometric exponential in this particular order you have to choose the first function since since you have logarithmic function that is you have log x this should be taken as a first function so log x is the first function and second function will be 1 now use the integration by parts formula substitute the first function and the second function find the integral and derivatives and you will get this answer here what we will do is in this trigonometric problems right you will have to uh, you know it's a little tricky because you will have to apply some compound angle formula or some uh, trigonometric formulas to uh, simplify this I can write sin square x as 1 minus cos square x because sin square x plus cos square x is 1 so therefore sin square x is 1 minus cos square x and I can write 1 minus cos square x as 1 plus cos x into 1 minus cos x now I'll cancel this and I'll get I need to find integral of this so it's simplified here now here uh, this is pretty simple one just integrate it uh, one at a time integrate this first integrate this first that's it here so whenever you have this you have 1 by x this is like 1 by x right what is integral of 1 by x log x but instead of x what do you have 7x plus 8 so put 7x plus 8 and always put the coefficient of x in the denominator what is coefficient of x 7 put it in the denominator now here this is of the form integral of a to the power x integral of a to the power x is a to the power x by log a this is the formula standard formula so if you remember this you can substitute directly so instead of a you have 7 and always remember to put coefficient of x in the denominator coefficient of x is 3 put it in the denominator always and this is another problem here x cube log x you have product of two functions you have to use integration by parts integration by parts which should be the first function use this form late here you have log so this should be the first function this should be the first function and x cube will be second function so you will have to find integral of second function derivative of first function then again find the integral of this entire expression and then you will get this as the answer. Here is a list of 3 marker problems that you can practice. See these are just example problems. No problems could be anything. Right. The idea is by looking at these problems you should be able to understand what method needs to be applied and how to solve the problem. You can try this for practice. Right. So this first one is uh, you can use a substitution method this is partial fraction this is uh, you have to use a different technique plus 3 and minus 3 you have to add plus 3 minus 3 and here uh, parts here uh, use substitution method here also right here you have to use partial fraction method see let's go through these problems right so here you see first look at the function this is the function is the derivative present what is derivative of 3x square 6x derivative of 5x is 5 6x plus 5 so derivative is present here function is here so when both are there what do you do substitution method now you substitute the function as t and uh, you differentiate this function right i differentiate this particular function so i'll get this then i have to find only dt that is i have to take dx this side so i'll get 6x plus 5 into dx so you are here you have 6x plus 5 dx substitute dt here so here i substitute dt and then I have this this one is t and the power don't take the power when you substitute t here so here will be t to the power 5 by 3 power then use integral formula right increment the power and put the incremented power in the denominator that's it here which method to use you have you have two terms in the denominator as product so partial fraction simple 
solve the partial fraction so you will get this particular partial fractions right then simply find the integral separately so 1 by x minus 1 log what is integral of 1 by x log but instead of x you have x minus 1 so put x minus 1 similarly here x plus 2 and always put the coefficient of x in the denominator here there is no coefficient it's only 1 so you don't have to put anything in the denominator assume that you had 3x here just assume then you will have to put 3 in the denominator the third problem this is slightly tricky check is the function and derivative together function say this is a function what is the derivative of this it's 2 right but you have 2x here so substitution method will not work you have to use and do you see diff multiple terms as a product like partial fraction do you see something like this no right if something was like this then you could have used partial fraction but that is not true so this you can't use partial fraction now this is little tricky but in this cases ensure that you make the numerator same as denominator because partially it is same here you have 2x here you have 2x partially it is same you have to make it fully same to make it fully same what you have to do you have to add 3 and minus 3 right now you have 2x plus 3 by 2x plus 3 it will get cancelled you will get 1 integral of 1 is x and this one assume that this is this 2x plus 3 as 1 by x what is integral of 1 by x log but instead of x i have 2x plus 3 so i put log of 2x plus 3 and see here notice here what is coefficient of x 2 so put 2 in the denominator now this one you have product of two terms product of two functions this is one function this is one function this is one function and uh, one is not the derivative of the other is x square the derivative of log is log the derivative of x square no so it is parts you will have to use integration by parts right now refer the playlist for uh, solving integration by parts very simple but go through this here you see first check is the derivative there what is the derivative of sin x cos x it's there so use substitution so assume that t is 1 plus sin x differentiate you get cos x just find dt transfer uh, dx here so you'll get cos x dx right substitute and you'll get the answer fourth one so here again uh, observe is the function and derivative together derivative of x is 1 derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x so you get this so this is the derivative so both are together simple use uh, substitution method right next one here whenever trigonometry comes and there is something like this it becomes tricky so what do you do you will have to think a little bit here now whenever you have this addition and subtraction of trigonometric functions you will have to use for sure some trigonometric formula some trigonometric formula has to be used now there is a, a formula for cos 2a cos 2a is 2 cos square a minus 1 also cos 2a is 1 minus 2 sin square a so if cos 2a is 2 cos square a minus 1 then cos a is sub multiple angle formula a will become a by 2 2a becomes a a will become a by 2 use this formula or use this formula one of this formula you have to use now how do you know which formula to use use a formula in a way that this one will get knocked off this one has to get cancelled that is the way you have to use a formula if i use this formula cos square formula this plus one and this minus one will get cancelled thereby i have to use this formula similarly in the denominator also i'll use the same formula but what formula this one has to get knocked off if I use this sine formula, then this one will get cancelled. That's all. That is the clue. Now you simplify this. this cos square and sin square will become cot square. Now this is a very important trigonometric formula. Cot square x is cos x square x minus 1. Similarly, you have formula for tan square x, which is secant square x minus 1. So use this formula and then you find the integral separately. Integral of cos x square x is cot and integral of 1 is x last problem again is the function and derivative together 
function is x derivative of x is 1 no it's not there you have x here so you have to use partial fraction because it's product of two terms multiplication of two terms in the denominator so use partial fraction so with this we've come to the end of this particular video if you've liked this video do press a like and share it thank you